Well, it gives an opportunity for street artists to come and express themselves, uh, particularly being a place where it's legal to occur. Um, otherwise, a lot of the places it gets taken down quite quickly. Um, it's frowned upon in certain parts of London as well, so have a place where it's co collective and almost like a gallery for the street art itself. Um, it's beneficial for the street artists and people who appreciate street art as well. As viewers, they can come here and it's uh, always something quite different. So I think as a, a tourist coming to see London, um, there's a lot of offerings of art in London. We have the National Portrait Gallery, we have the Tate Modern, but none of these really give an opportunity to express street art. And I think that's a really important part of London um, since there is so much street art that you can find around the streets. And having it in one centralised location, it does almost give it as a platform uh, to show off so many different artists with different types of expressions and uh, it's a collective of art pieces which you might not find in mainstream galleries. There's a lot of passers-by here who might not be here for the street art but then realising that there is street art here, um, the perception of the actual art can change um, and people who might at first be quite negative towards it might see something that they quite like or something that's quite unique and then have their perception changed in a way that they're more positive towards street art and so having this here in quite a central location part of, it, part of London um, allows for not only people who appreciate street art but people who might not be on their way looking for street art but find it accidentally and then have their opinion changed by chance but obviously without this being here there isn't a possibility for that chance.